And welcome to the Dogs of War. This is Per Ardua's Let's Play of Tropico 5. And we're on the mission, the Dogs of War, where our main objective is to build a massive military. And we are on the island of Puerto Coco because that was the only island option they would give us for this mission. And, of course, one of the first things we have to do is set our constitution because we've not run this island as an independent state yet. So I'm going to go ahead and accept these as the default. As I've said before, what bothers me about this is that you can't see what the factions are that are on the island and how many people there are and so on and so forth. And granted, the number right now on the island is very small, so it has a very minimal impact. But I would like to at least know when I make this decision. Although we seem to have a pretty, pretty okay and with a small population, it should be pretty easy to recover from any, any problems that that constitution may cause. Uh, and so this is the main part of the, the mission right now, of course, is assemble an invasion force to invade Calle de Fortuna. Um, half of our soldiers and tanks will join the invasion force each year. So that's really the main piece. And of course, our first quest, build two new military buildings. Now, before we go any farther, I want to take stock of this island. Because we haven't played this island in a little while. And not only that... It's important to note that we still need to maintain this island as best we can. As far as, you know, support and, uh, and, and making sure everybody has what they want. So, and economically as well, because we're not going to be able to build new military buildings without, you know, an, a good economy. So let's take a look at what we have on this island. We've got two gold mines going right now. We also have a coal deposit in the middle. We have a logging camp and a lumber mill, so we're producing planks. We have a pineapple plantation here and a corn plantation here. Both are set to local consumption. We have, uh, of course, your, your, your uh, two Teamsters office, construction office, pa uh, palace, library, uh, tavern, and two docks. Those are the main buildings. Of course, we have some guard towers in here as well. Um, so a couple things that we're, I think we should definitely build. First off is I'd like to see us get a ranch just to mix up the food variety. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a cattle ranch if I can. There we go. Lots of good locations for that. And um, blah, 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 blah. what else do I want to put in? I want to put in... All right, so let's take a look at the military buildings, actually. Um, we can put in a military fort, which we don't currently have. So that's a really quick and easy piece to put in and then the next uh building is a barracks and those are the only two military buildings we have right now so we can very easily just kind of plop those two in and then the next thing i want to do is take a look at trade we do not have any tr active trade and as a matter of fact there isn't much that we can actually do right now so we're we're going to come back to that trade um window and see if there's something we can set up and then of course research and we are definitely going to want to research army base so in order to do that we need so we're definitely going to need power plant we're definitely probably i don't know if we're going to need the embassy but i say let's go ahead and research this stuff anyway uh i think that's a good start and we'll get this puppy rolling so this is going to be interesting building up this military as we go in order to you know send it over so i assume we're going to need a lot of military buildings a lot of army bases a lot of barracks One thing I really want to do, actually, is take a look at upgrades. But I have a feeling all these upgrades are going to cost me an arm and a leg, and I don't really have the money for that right now. What we should do, though, is build another construction office, um, because we are going to need another one. And actually, eh, it's expensive to quick build, but I will put it as a high priority. Now, why these build while these buildings are up? Oh, there's a quest. Mr. Have two different the industries on the island, and ooh, we get the we steel mill technology. So interesting. We already have one, which I guess is the lumber mill and planks. So we would have to put in a cannery, I guess, for the um, for the pineapple. Hmm, what else could we put in? Other industries. Yeah, see, we don't have. I mean, really, the only thing we could put in is a. We would need uh, to produce wool and cotton. We don't have any. I mean, with the exception of a cannery, 
And for that, we need to put in a power plant. We don't have any other industries. Now, that said, it would actually be a pretty good idea to put in a wool, uh, a llama ranch, and a cotton uh, plantation because we could use those extra, that extra industry. So I think that's what we're going to do, actually, because we've got the money. And there's a great spot for cotton right over here, right around my little circle. And then we just need to put in a llama ranch for wool. Ooh, I probably should have checked that first, huh? Eesh, not a lot of options. Ugh. I mean, you could. I can still put it in. It's. I mean, it's not like bright green. Uh, it's just not going to produce as well. Much rather go into a bright green spot, but. There's nothing else that produces wool, so I think we're kind of stuck in this area. Looks a little bit better, so we'll stick it in there. That will at least get us going on those two items, and then we can... Actually, we've got some good money right now. Maybe I should plop in that textile... Well, that textile mill is expensive. All right, well, we'll plop that textile mill in now anyway. Uh, let's, uh, let's put them over here. But I'm going to make him a low priority. Okay, we've got that other construction building built up. And it looks like we're building the barracks now. So let's take a look at the Almanac and see where we stand currently with everybody. Overall happiness is low, which is to be expected. Um, I mean, we've got two zeros, healthcare and religion. We have no religious buildings. We have no clinics. So those are two things that we can do pretty quickly and easily in order to turn the tides. Housing's a little bit of an issue. We have 65 homeless people, so we do need to put in some tenements. Um, entertainment isn't great. I mean, nothing's great, to be honest. Um, but all of these things are pretty easily fixable. I do want to take a look at... Um, we have nobody unemployed, so we need more... No unemployment, but we have 16 open jobs. So we definitely need more people. Uh, let's take a look at factions overall. We have a poor standing with the communists, but the communists are actually... Oh no, 21 voters. So they're not the biggest group on the island, but they're... I mean, by one person. But, um... They're, they're still relatively small. Religious is the biggest group. And so it would be clear to... It's clear to me that if we want to make an impact in support and happiness putting in a Catholic mission would be the best step in that regard. And I think that's definitely something we should consider doing once we have some money, more money flowing. Some analysts are saying that things cannot possibly get worse for Tropico. El Presidente reassured them that they actually can and will. And let's see, we got some more of my buildings going in here. Barracks are now built. And it looks like we're working good. We've got the uh, cotton plantation going. Wow, couldn't think about that. Do we have any? Well, we do have some. A general and a landlord. Okay, so let's put the general in here. Nope, that's a celebrity general. All right. And I guess put the landlord in here that might help a little bit with some of those housing pieces over here good we got the ranch in uh great so we just have the now why too far from road network all right all right all right all right all right didn't want to be on the road but now it's just too far from the road for anybody to bother going there i guess So once we get this textile mill built, we'll need a lot more people, but we'll have the two industries. So we'll complete that quest. And then once that fort gets built, we'll have the, uh, the two military buildings. As a matter of fact, I was just going to say, I think construction workers should be going to that fort now uh, that it's connected. And good, we just unlocked the power plant from electricity, so that will help us uh, grow in, uh, even more in the future. 
And you know what? I want to stick a road right here that goes straight. No, st why? Why do you insist on curving? Well, all right, whatever. Stick a road right there. Just to help out a little bit with traffic in this area. And we've already set six troops to the invasion. So we're already ahead of ourselves. And it looks like that fort is going to be finished pretty soon. Oh, we've got... Oh, I didn't realize we have so much money. We should look at upgrading some of our some of our buildings here. Let's see. Yep, shaving pens. That's a cheap upgrade. All right, pick your reward. This is from the two industries: cheap iron import route, cheap coal import route, or um, five. I'm going to take five thousand in the Swiss bank account because I don't want to import iron or coal. Ever. <laughs> I like to get it naturally, and uh, I, I've never run into a situation where I need it to be imported. At least not yet. So, not, um, not going to worry about it right this instant. I am going to worry about upgrading all of my uh, plantations and ranches, though. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, that was silly. It's only pineapple plantations. Well, whatever. Fine, we already upgraded that one. Definitely want reforestation. Let's see, you guys don't get any upgrades. How about you? Do you have any upgrades? Log to bunker. Yeah, let's do it. And actually, let's check the gold mine. I'm pretty sure there's some good, some good upgrades on the gold mine as well cost me an arm and a leg, but nevertheless, it's going to help out in the long run, I think. Boom, boom, boom. Barracks have an upgrade. Not available. Okay. You guys don't have upgrades. You don't have upgrades. You don't. Library. Academic department. Yeah, let's do that. And I know the palace has an upgrade, so we definitely should upgrade that with uh, the elite infantry. And do we want to upgrade the fort? Modernized weaponry. Sure. And we could actually... Can we upgrade these guys with machine guns? Are we there yet? Oh, we could. Hmm, okay. Not... I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Only because... I think I'm putting that in there will help. Um... We're not getting attacked, so I'm not too concerned. Oh! <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. We're not getting attacked, except for right now. Except for right at this very instant are we being attacked. <laughs> now, we just unlocked the embassy as well. So let's see where they're at. They're over here. Um, I don't think I can... Oh, I guess I can upgrade them. And try to get that up there quickly. Oh, I guess they're they're gone. That didn't take too long. We defeated them pretty quickly. Build a steel mill. Great, right? Because we got that technology. So we can go ahead and build a steel mill. I was just looking at the upgrades for the textile mill. Which, we don't have the money to do them. Uh, but workshop expansion and then acrylic dyes. Uh, which increases its effectiveness. Uh, but produces more pollution. Always a trade-off. But we don't really have the money to do either of those upgrades. Those are some major upgrades. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, yay. We have an election. Um, I, I'm going to agree to the election. And, of course, I'm going to put myself up. And I'm actually going to save the game. Because you know elections can go sometimes. So let's make sure we save this game. And what I'm going to do right off the bat is build a Catholic mission. I mean, that's what we talked about 
we know that's one of the main things that can definitely help out our little our little area here our buildings have been blown up Presidente. and uh, also want to build a grocer because I think that is another thing that's really going to help us out I want to make sure I put that grocer up over here, somewhere near the people within reason I guess there I guess we'll put over there we have a protest so let's go negotiate build a clinic that's actually what I was planning on doing I rebuild that building from the bomb um, and I need to build a clinic so let's get that clinic in here Can we fit him in there no no because he looks like a you know the clinic looks like a um, a smaller version of the tavern <laughs> Let's stick it over there. And uh, what am I missing? Oh wow! 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 That that rating really dropped quickly. Have three docks. Yep, we will definitely be doing that. Uh, let's get the police station in as well. Uh, as we've got the money, let's get that baby going in. Now, do I want to put it where it's red? Because that's where the crime is. I guess. Now, I'm really hoping with everything we're building, yeah, we're already starting to turn the tides. I mean, putting in that Catholic mission alone was enough to start turning the tides, I think. But once we get the grocer in, the clinic in, the police station in, uh, it's really going to start changing people's opinions. So we're in a good we're in a good place, I think. I don't think we'll have a problem winning this the election. World is at war. Definitely want three barracks. We will be building more barracks, so I'm going to take that quest. Get that clinic going. Flip that over to high priority to see if that helps at all. All right, we got that plantation back up, and there's the clinic. Let's get that baby staffed. And now the police station's going in. All right, we're at 50% approval rating. That's pretty good. Uh, you know what we need that we don't have? A high school. We don't have a high school, and we're definitely going to need... We're probably going to need... Well, we're definitely going to need a college, too. But we don't have a high school, and I th we're definitely going to need one to help with education. I'm looking at the clinic right here, and I'm going, uh, we don't have anybody who could fill that role. And since we're here, let's just make sure we've got some upgrades. What do we got? Fire Brigade. Yes. Yes. A and what about the, the clinic? Who just got a new um, um, you know you Alright, I'm not going to gonna worry about that right now. Also, you no upgrades. Oh, there is an upgrade there. We, have an opportunity to influence the uh, we can definitely win with no cheating. Not worried about that. What was that upgrade? Housing quality in the vicinity. Well, there's no really, there's not really any housing in the area, so I'm not really gonna worry about that. Um, and we're not, we don't have anything there. Okay. The election results are in. Oh wow, we only got 50%, but we still won, so that's good. All right. Um, other things we need to do: put in a new dock. So that's definitely something we can do and should do, considering all of the exporting that we've got going on. And that actually reminds me is we do need to take a look at our um, our trade because we're not we don't have anything going on here. Gold, yes, please. That's a good price increase too. Uh, planks, yes, 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 yes to the planks. Textile mill. Oh, we have cloth. We're oh no available ships. Well, we will once this dock is built. So that'll give us three major things that we're sending out. And then, of course, they want us to put in a steel mill because we have now that technology. So let's take a look at the cost of that. Oh, that's that's pretty inexpensive. Oh, but you know what? What's the point of putting in a steel mill if we're not extracting coal or iron? So those are the first. Those are really the two things that we need to start with. We need coal and we need iron. Now, we know we have an iron or a coal mine here, so that's a good start. But I don't know where an iron mine is. So I think what we're going to need to do is send out an army to explore. And I think we're going to send them to this mine first. And you know what? 
let's send them out as well, but they will go... Hmm. Hmm, is there something over there? There is something over there. Let's send them over there. I know there's one here as well, and there's one over here, and one over here. <laughs> it's quite a few, uh, to say the least. So, certainly a lot of options. Let's see, what do we get? Coal mine. Oh, but we got... Oh, but he also got this one, which was an iron mine. So we have actually got iron and coal right here that we can put in and get the poly... The, and right over here as well. So that's a good little, like, industrial zone we could do. So I like that idea, and uh, I say let's go for it. Let's get those mines in. One there, and then we're going to put one over here. Can I go in? No. Oh, it still says unexplored. Well, Presidente, I hereby wish to four acquire you on the habeas cojones. That sounds, that seems crazy to me. All right, constitution options. Again, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> so, um, a police state, I'm pretty much okay with the police state. I'm okay with happy child. The immigrants piece always, I'm always concerned about immigrants because not, I mean, I love immigrants, don't get me wrong. Um. But from an immigrants nation standpoint of open borders, just letting anybody come in. And it's not, you know, it, it's mainly because of population. I don't want the population growth to become so in intense that we uh, are just, you know, we're not able to keep up with it. Especially when we're trying to complete other parts of the mission. So I'm going to go with the visa program because we do want educated um, people to come. Because we don't have... A whole lot of education. Uh, I am going to go ahead and build the two more barracks, though, because I feel like I'm getting away from myself um, with this kind of this whole industrial thing. So I was like, "Let's, all right, let's get these barracks built." And they're in, so I'm going to actually send them out to explore so we can get that as well. Now, I heard something sounded like protesting. Yes, there is protesting. Where where are you? There you are. Two, two entertainment buildings. Yes, uh, definitely. You're right. Definitely need entertainment. No doubt about it. We can put it in a restaurant. Let's put it in over here. In fact, that's a perfect fit. Granted, we're we're a little we're short on cash right now, and we definitely have a major housing problem. I mean, look at all these shacks. Eesh. Definitely something we're going to be working on to fix. I'm pretty sure we have upgraded that, didn't we? Yeah, we have the we got the police station upgraded with the, the fire brigade. That's not a yeah, we got that taken care of. Don't you, don't you worry about that. We got that taken care of, no my problem. My ears are still ringing from a shout um, of my ears, do, 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 do. Access Diplomat inviting Tropico. Counter-offensive or great escape. I haven't the foggiest. Who's money and the opportunity of historic undertaking. Um, sure. We'll send Elazar because he's not really important. No offense to Elazar. Uh, okay, we put in the two barracks. I need a new entertainment building. Um, let's stick in an opera house. I don't know where to put you, opera house, though. Nah, 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 nah. I want to put you near housing, but we don't have any really like, rich people housing. Oh, there's more fires. Um... All right, I'm going to put you over there. I did not realize there were more fires. Oh, there's only, oh, that one. I guess that one went out. I only saw the... I thought there was only that one fire. Oh, well. Oh! Lost the, lost the gold mine. It's like that gold mine's done. Uh, okay, 
I need to, we do need to build more housing and we've got money I want to put in some mansions over here because that's kind of what I envision is that this is kind of like the rich area so we got three and uh, eh, three's enough My research indicates that the rum the story. All right, we don't have anybody working the library right now. I guess we can invite somebody. We should put in a college. Um, although I'll tell you, I think the main problem. The bigger problem right now is housing. <laughs> Our brave soldiers are either fighting. We definitely need to put in some tenements. And that's what I'm going to do, is put in some tenements. Put one in over here, we'll put one in over here, we'll put one in over here. Actually, this is bam, boom, bro, boom. Whole line of them. There they go. It's like the cranes are dancing. <laughs> Synchronized dancing, swimming, or something. I don't know what they're doing. I guess if they're underwater, they'd be swimming, but for now, they're just dancing. All right. That should really, I hope, really help out with the um, the the, home, the homelessness problem that we have. Well, that's interesting. The other gold mine is now depleted. So that's that's it for that, uh, which is fine uh, because we do have some other industries going. And one of the main industries we wanted to start up was steel. That's a big one. And then now, apparently, they want us to try to look at doing a rum industry as well. So that's another, you know, really great opportunity. So we've got the mines going there. I want to get, uh, we need to connect them up with a road. Um, and then, let's see, where do I want this road to go? Do I want it to come in up there? It seems kind of, well, like, let's put... One connection in up there, but I'm going to put another connection in down here. Okay, that looks... Whoa, 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 what is going on? Holy moly. Let's get this shit... To, excuse my language, but yikes. Is this from the bombing? No, they said if I put it in a police department, it would stop. They would stop the bombing. So now they're just gonna burn stuff. What's a going new on? era of knowledge is upon us. All right, I'll send a dynasty member. I think everybody's. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's not doing anything. We'll send her. Oh, good. We got all those tenements went up pretty quickly. Ah. I forgot. Well, all right, good. That got taken care of. Jeez. What's all the fires? All right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, steel mill we need to put in. Which I think I'm going to stick right over here. And I'm actually going to make that build a low priority. So we got the coal mine in. We can let's yeah, let's upgrade that. And I think we only have right. We have a ship assigned. What else are we doing? Planks and gold. Well, I, we're not going to get any more gold exported. I have to find another gold. Uh, I guess I could remove the ship. Yeah. I have to go find another gold mine. Logs, iron bauxite, mm, planks, steel. We're definitely going to want to do steel, though we're a little, it's a little premature to be pulling that one, but. Yeah, another ship to planks. Let's just speed that one up. Alright, um, blah, blah, blah. You guys are building, 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 building. Um. 
We're actually almost at the end of this, um, at the end of this bad boy. We're working on the army base, which is apparently going to take us a while. But we are sending military pretty rapidly to the, um, the front. We only need 13 more military. Oh, good. We have a drought. I... This is always a problem. Alright, we need to put in a sugar plantation. And we need to find a... Oh, that's a good place right there. For the most part. And then we'll have to put in a... Um, a rum distillery. Oh, my dynasty's member's greatest creation is complete. So we can get... Uh, 10 college educated citizens 20 regular citizens or uh, 10 militarist relations I'm going to actually take the educated citizens because I think we are short on educated citizens yeah oh no somebody go put out that fire who else anybody else on fire or was that the only one Looks like the only one. Okay, you got built. All right, Do Yoni. Giant tropical spider, President. We have a crisis, and we have to act fast. Wow, why do we have such a crisis? What's the what's the issue? Why are people upset? All right, we're gonna take a look at that. That um, genius mastermind Leon Kang managed to intercept and replace our invasion forces' orders. They invaded Poland instead. Can you believe those Polish people peeled a banana? Okay, so we were supplied enough, but end? guess what? Um, we were apparently pushed back. <laughs> so we supply. So we completed the mission, but we um, they didn't par apparently care for us about that. So uh, we're going to take on a new strategy. So that ends the mission. We we won the win we won the mission, but it was kind of a, a not a great win. Um, and uh, now we're on to the next quest. So I think we're going to end the episode right there. This is a little bit longer than usual, so I apologize for that. But uh, we were able to get through a whole mission in one um, sitting. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please, of course, like and share the video. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, tell your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Man, thank you guys for tuning in. Looking forward to next time for the next mission, Leon Must Die. Yeah.